Back in the day, they were referred to as comic books, but lately they have been getting more respect and some people call them graphic novels. Whatever you call them, they are a centerpiece of a one-of-a-kind art show for kids and kids at heart. The Now Buffalo's Mike Randall checks it out. You'd expect to see an art show at a place called the Carnegie Art Center. I had no idea it was going to grow. But chances are you've never seen an art show quite like this. It's highly sought after. No Picassos or Rembrandts here. But have you heard of Wally Wood? Wally Wood's probably, in the world of comic book art, he's probably one of the best known and most revered. For fans of Spider-Man, Black Panther, or the Incredible Hulk, rawr. and really, who isn't? This is a one-of-a-kind collection that has your name on it. This is another piece that's incredible. Anybody who knows comic books uh, will know Jack Kirby. These cool comics were collected by Dr. Maurice Dewey, a well-known and much-loved obstetrician who passed away last year. Our dad grew up loving the funnies. Reed Dewey and the rest of the Dewey family have made it their mission to share the collection. Reed says his dad would be pleased. His word would be tickled. The collection includes dozens of priceless pieces and lots of original comic book art. He did it because he liked it, but then over the years it's become very valuable. Pam Dewey says her husband thought comic books were a great way for kids to learn to read. My husband always encouraged the kids to buy comics <laughs> and read them. If you only have time to check out one art collection this summer, Pam and Dr. Dewey's world of comic book art, a visual exploration, can be a fun diversion. And just what the doctor ordered. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.